All right, guys, so pretty something pretty exciting for me is there's 11 new colors available, actually, on the Untamed Tackle website right now. Tackle Warehouse is getting some new colors also, but, you know, 11 new colors on the Untamed Tackle website. And that's created a lot of questions for me, you know, because a lot of people are, are you know, they like some of the colors, they're getting the ace jigs for the first time, and they want to know exactly how I trim it, stuff like that. I fish with people a lot, and... You know, a lot of people don't do this with a jig, and you definitely don't have to, but this is the way the ace jig was intended to be used. And I'm, I'm gonna kind of walk y'all through exactly what I do to get an ace jig completely ready to fish with. So, got one of the new gill colors right here, this magic gill. And, <clears throat> you know, we're in super, super clear water. The fish are pre-spawn, getting close to spawn. It's this one that I'm gonna tie on to fish around docks and wood and stuff like that, that as far as this color. But, <clears throat> A lot of people I see, they, they leave the skirt this long, or they trim it a little bit, or they don't trim it at all, and they put a trailer on there, and that's fine. You catch fish that way. I mean, I've, I've seen people do that for years. A lot of people don't trim jig skirts, but I'm going to kind of show y'all what I do to get a jig ready, and exactly what I do to fish it. So, first thing that I do, and this is, this is the reason we put a fine cut skirt on this jig was so that I could cut it down the way that I wanted to, and and it actually retained a lot of the good shape. So I'll actually cut it a lot of times like a quarter inch below the hook. And obviously whenever it flares, super, super small profile jig now. But you see the, the, the key for the fine cut skirt is when you cut it down that short below the shank of the hook, it still covers the hook and it doesn't just like puff out like a thicker strand silicone wood. So small little profile, pretty little sucker, little cutie pie. I'll actually also take and cut down the weed guard a little bit. I cut about a quarter inch off the weed guard. Another thing just to give it a little bit smaller profile. You see, I, I, long as it long as it is protecting the tip of that hook, the actual hook point, that's all you really want. So that's what I do right there. And then let's get a cleanup crawl out because that has been my, where are they? There they are. Been my favorite you know jig trailer especially for a half ounce for a while so should we go green pumpkin i think we'll go straight green pumpkin so i was gonna go with the chartreuse with the green pumpkin chartreuse pepper but i think green pumpkin will kind of darken it up just a hair make it a little bit more natural so the cleanup crawl has these ribs on it and you can see the ribs on the top to kind of where, where you can tech expose it and i just kind of get a a gauge of where I think it's going to be and typically for me I cut off I've done this a million times so I know I cut off about two of those ridges like I go right there on the top cut off two of the ridges and that makes it a small compact little trailer for this jig then I always use super glue you definitely don't have to this jig has one of the best trailer keepers on the market I mean it's the best one that I've ever seen but I'm skipping that sucker 100 miles an hour. So that makes me want to use some super glue. If you can. There we go. Got me a pack of freeloaders right there just in case. So, you can see now how small of a profile this actually is. And it's a jig, so I still have a lot of confidence that it gets really, really big bites. But for me, this time of year, I like that, I like that bluegill color, I like to transition over to those. And this is a half, and I feel like a half performs a lot better with the cleanup crawl, because the cleanup crawl does create a lot of drag but you can see how I cut that thing down and how small it is to me that's a really really big key about about the ace jig you know we, we have some other jigs that are bigger you know that and I've always just liked to get more bites you know so I tie that on so now I'm gonna pull out a rod that is a 7.3 medium heavy envy and then I'm going to throw it on an 8.3 to 1 gear ratio baitcaster with 20 pound sunline shooter that's going to be my number one jig jig setup we you know a lot of the colors are colors like 
So the blue crawl, let's take blue crawl for, for instance. Last year was fishing a tournament and a buddy of mine caught a really big one and it spit up a green pumpkin and blue crawfish and he pulled it out and he threw it on the ground. Well he threw it on the ground, I took a picture of it and then made a jig skirt that looks like it. I ordered some jig skirts, got one that I felt like was really, really close and I threw that for like a month. Well after that, we was like, okay, we gotta make this. So we, so we made the blue crawl. All of those jig colors that we made are pretty much to fit a need. You know, like there's times where those fish are on that color. And you know, whenever I travel around the country, y'all hear it a lot. I throw green pumpkin, I throw black and blue. I throw green pumpkin and black and blue. Like I, I keep it pretty simple. I throw bluegill colors a lot. Whenever you fish a lake a lot and you can get more in tune with it, you can actually dial in those colors a whole lot better. And there, it actually does make a difference. Like I've, I've had days where I've skipped green pumpkin and had like a bite or two and then break it off. I'm like, well, let me just tie on this bluegill one and see. Tie on the bluegill one and just start catching them off out of every single dock. Like I, I've seen it be like that, but for the most part, as a standard, green pumpkin and black blue are gonna get you a, a lot of bites, but if you have time to dial it in, you can definitely get more bites by throwing some different colors. So just kind of want to break that down for y'all real quick and show y'all the, the, you know, the purpose for the new colors. So my favorite new colors, my favorite new color for sure is the blue crawl. And I also really like the bluegill and stuff like that. But just kind of want to show y'all how I rig up an HG because it's been a while since I've done that. We got a lot more people on the channel now. So hope that helps. Hope it helps y'all get some more bites and we'll see y'all on the next one. Did you tell them where to fish it up? Huh? Did you tell them where to anywhere you go down the bank with it throw it to wood anywhere anywhere that you think those pre-spawn females will be staging is where i throw it whether it be shallow docks deep docks brush all that type of stuff that's where i'm going to throw it and we've also got another jig coming out very very soon that uh pretty excited about that one i've been catching a lot of fish on that one for like a year now i've been catching them on it i've actually won some tournaments on it came in second in some big tournaments on it like been good some local tournaments it's been good so pretty excited about that and uh you'll be out very very soon